Hello, I am Sean Jeffers with Youth at the Center in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am part of the Ohio Adult Allies Network. In this video, we cover the tools that highlight the value of youth-led programs. Goal of youth-led programs in Ohio is young people will create and implement a strategic plan that uses evidence-based strategies to create community level change. This video will highlight how these tools can be applied to meet your group's needs, whether you are just starting out, hoping to strengthen your group's youth-led focus, or want to secure the necessary support and funding to ensure your group's sustainability. Joining me today is Juliana Fellows. Welcome, Juliana. Thank you, Sean, and welcome for coming to our video to check us out. So I'm Juliana Fellows. I am the creator and director of Community Engagement Services, LLC, freelancing in services related to youth-led programs in Ohio. Like Sean, I too am an Ohio adult ally and part of that network. Sean and I, along with other uh, adult allies in the state, throughout the state, collaborated together to critically evaluate youth-led programs and determine how we can share the value of youth-led programs with others. We have created four shareable YLP products that you can check out below, including an animated video, a quick read infographic, an in-depth white paper, and a series of podcasts with interviews from experts practicing in the field. But first, we want to give you some tips on how these products can be used on, based on your experience and where you're at with youth-led programming. So, Sean, if you are just beginning and you want to start a youth-led program, where, how would you use the products? Yeah, Juliana, so if you are just getting started, um, and first we say welcome, we're glad you're here, and, uh, and just wanting to note that youth-led programs have a number of benefits. Through their participation, young people's leadership skills are enhanced, they become more confident in their ability to influence others, uh, and to speak in public. And if you're just getting started, we'd recommend you start with the podcast. It features youth voices from the Ohio Youth Led Excuse me, the Ohio Youth Led Prevention Network, and also the perspective of adult allies. And um, and so I think it's that aspect of bringing together youth and adults which makes youth led programs really unique. We'd also invite you to check out some of the adult allies at the bottom, and reach out to maybe somebody in your community um, or as a focus you're similar to you. Um, so one of the benefits of doing this work. Is in a network is you don't have to feel like recreating the wheel all the time, but you can use the network and learn from each other. So Juliana, I'm gonna throw it back to you and say, what if I have a youth group, but we're not necessarily doing all of this youth led, you know, kind of work, what could we do? Sure. So if you're already running a quality youth program and you're looking to enhance your youth engagement in community projects, um, what you might want to start with is the quick animated video or, and or couple that with the infographic. These two products are a quick bit of engaging information for both youth and adults about YLP programming. If you're an adult ally and you're looking to deepen your conversation with youth and adults, you might want to look at the value of youth-led programs white paper. Uh, this will strengthen your conversation and give you, equip you with tools that explain the frameworks, the process, and sustainability on youth-led programming. Now, let's say, though, you already have a youth-led program. You're rolling with that ball and it's going pretty well, but you want to keep that going and you want that sustainability. Sean. What products might you use there? Yeah, so uh, in our experience, it can sometimes be difficult to get stakeholders and funders to see the value of youth-led programming. Uh, and one of our focus, though, is about amplifying youth voice. Excuse me, amplifying youth voices, 
And I think that same strategy uh, can help deepen your investment or the investment in your group. And so um, we'd encourage you to pay attention to both the white paper and also to the podcast. Both of those feature testimonials from young people. Uh, and I think it's really powerful when we can hear the voices of young people about how they benefit from youth-led programs. So we hope these tools can inspire you to think about who's invested in your program and how can you use that to ensure your group's long-term sustainability. So I'm gonna kick it back to Juliana to close this out. Great. So we are really hoping that you will delve into these products at your leisure. And we also, I also wanna express that, like Sean said, we're not asking you to reinvent the wheel. You have plenty of help. We're in this together. And that's why we're here. We wanna share these products with you. In addition, we have regional learning collaboratives spotted throughout the state. So there is probably one near you and you can check those out up above. And please check out the members of the study group below because they may have a particular YLP niche that speaks to the inquiries that you're looking for or the, um, the area of where you wanna enter and enhance your skills. We really, really are here for you and we really want you to check these out because we wanna help you and your youth engage into greater community impact. And we thank you for visiting our site.